Hi, I'm Jenny and this is One Girl and Her Machines and uh, I am back with you today with a um, an epic, an epic rainbow fabrics haul. First thing, I need to tell you what I'm wearing. So this is the olive blouse. Um, it is a, um, a gathered yoke blouse, obviously with a v-neck and a very straight sleeve. There's nothing particularly fancy about the sleeve very slightly gathered at the wrist but nothing too heavy um, and then yeah just a normal blouse but actually really comfortable the the fabric is a lovely um, sort of leopard print viscose I got in the village haberdashery down in Fairham sorry that's my phone making noises and um, yeah so very nice blouse very good wearing it with just some a ready to wear cardigan and so I'm ready to wear jeans I'm not even sure you can see the jeans Nope, the jeans are down there somewhere. Just about some grey ready to wear jeans. So yeah, so that's it. That's my outfit today. Um, so yeah, on with the fabric haul. Now, I received an email, I think it was almost two weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, um, from Rainbow Fabrics saying that they had a 40% off sale on everything on their site, so a summer sale. And I thought, wow, everyone says that they're so good. That's such a bargain. I need to go and check it out. So I did. And uh, I found some fabrics. So um, yeah, let's go. So the first fabric I've got to show you is a beautiful. Now I actually have the description in front of me. So let me have a little look. What do they call it? A floral, navy floral viscose chalet. So it has got these beautiful flowers and these lovely sort of like purpley blue leaves, like sort of a um, cornflower blue type colour um, leaves. And uh, there's three metres of it and it's beautifully drapey fabric. Um, and while I, sh I don't really wear dresses with big flowers on because being a short person, they sort of overwhelm you. But I might probably get away with trousers or I might use this fabric to make some Christmas presents because my idea in my head at the moment is I might make um, some presents for the girls in my family so like clothes and stuff like that um, so this might be destined for one of those sort of presents maybe a Paddington blouse or something for somebody um, but yeah so lovely navy floral viscose chalet the next one is definitely for me um, I love this colour it's one of my favourites it is a royal blue and again that is See, the problem with me not wearing my glasses because of the rings of shame is I can't actually read it very well. So it says azure blue, ditzy floral, sustainable, soft, viscose, chalet. Sorry, phone made it, sending me messages. So this is again, it's a viscose chalet. There is three meters of this and um, this is destined for a dress for me. Now, I could make another Tillian Buttons Indigo because I mean, as that is my go-to dress thing pattern that I like. But I also saw the other day what Lex Sews had made a gorgeous um, Tammy handmade Raj dress. And I had that pattern in my my pattern stash. Um, so it might be that I make that with it. So we'll see. That that could be quite high on my list. I think that might be coming up quite soon, that one. Um, so the next one I have here is a coral rainbow viscose jersey and oh my god is it soft um, and this will probably be some form of t-shirt I love rainbows as I've said before I think um, and I think this will be a lovely super soft t-shirt um, and yeah probably be another tab of the tea maybe um, after the other week um, and I think I will Again, I think I'll make that up quite soon because I think that'll be so lovely and soft. It might, it's just like super cuddly. I just want to sit there and stroke it. Um, so yeah, so that's that gorgeous. And then this one here is, oh dear, eyes are bad. Right, so this says it is a blue green funky swirl viscose jersey. So, this is a really nice small pattern in sort of blues, greens with a little bit of black and um, 
Oh, I think this is going to make a really nice sort of wrap dress. Maybe the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company because I have bought that pattern now. Um, but if not, I've got lots of wrap dress patterns I've discovered in my stash um, that are jersey as well. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be, I would think this is going to be some sort of wrap dress that will be really nice and comfortable. I can wear it with tights and boots in the winter with my DMs, even that sort of thing um and it'll be comfortable and stuff still so that'd be good so that is the next one this is a oh dear where's me orange hearts viscose jacquard so i don't know if you can see that there it's a very bright orange but i thought as a blouse it would pair well with some sort of black trousers and a black cardi to add a bit of light in the winter months um and i've got quite a lot of things that go with orange i mean it's a bit brighter than i expected but actually i still don't mind it i quite like orange um but yeah so little jacquard hearts on there it's a super soft um it's a viscose let me just see um, i mean i could actually even use if i wanted to tone it down a bit i could probably even use the reverse side so sorry it does need a bit of an iron but yeah um so in fact, I may well use the reverse side. I think I prefer the reverse side, which is a bit tamer. Um, but yeah, this will be a nice blouse. I don't know which blouse yet, but it'd be just a nice sort of blouse to go with them, um, with some probably some floral things. I know I need some plain items in my wardrobe. I've got lots and lots of patterns. I think we all say the same thing. I've got lots and lots of patterns, patterned like items, but not enough things to go with them. Um, so yeah, that's why I've got that. Um, the next one is a blue yellow abstract shapes viscose chalet and I really like this um, I do like it for me but there is also someone in my family who I think would love this and I may well make them something I don't know we'll see see whether it comes to me or whether it goes to them um, but yeah we'll see but I am um, Again, it's a beautifully soft fabric. Um, it is so nice. The colours are so bright and vibrant. I like a geometric shape. So yeah, it's a really nice drapey fabric. I think that'll be a really nice sort of top or skirt or something. So yeah, there is, oh, did he? There's one metre of that. Okay. Now, is that this? Oh, hello. So the next one that I have is a blue red abstract patch viscose jersey. So uh, everything I think I've ordered. Oh no, not everything. Most things I've ordered have got, got, have got viscose in them. But again, this is a really nice jersey, enough to make a dress. Um, it's got some of my favorite colors in there. So the orange, the royal blue, the navy. Um, and again, I think it will be some sort of either wrap dress it'll be a jersey dress basically i think um so comfortable um yeah be good but i really like this fabric i like the patterns um and i'm looking forward to making that up i don't know which one will go first i quite like all i mean i love all these fabrics actually to be honest i really do i love all of them um so yeah nice little fabric nice light it's actually quite lightweight it's not that heavy it's quite thin it's not got the greatest it's got a stretch one way but not the other so um so yeah should be good right so the next one there is a little bit of a story too so i am a beaver leader in my spare time <laughs> i have a lot of spare time in my spare time i'm a beaver leader and my name at beavers is panda and that is because i love pandas so i have got this coral viscose jersey let me see Yep, yeah, viscose jersey, coral viscose jersey with pandas on it. And again, this is going to be some form of t-shirt. Um, coral, as you're probably guessing, is one of my favourite colours. I love it. Um, I wear a lot of it. And yeah, I love this t-shirt. I think with a nice black sort of ribbing binding on it, this would be a really nice sort of tab of the tea or something like that. Maybe a long sleeve one, I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, one metre of that very pleased with that it's so they're so super soft they're lovely um okay so the next one i have here 
and say it is epic this is why i'm rushing through them all is a blush lavender floral viscose chalet so i just really like this color and i don't actually have any i was looking because obviously it's michelle's so it's again um so purple to end ALZ. And I thought I would have purple, so I actually really like the colour, but I don't have any purple in my stash. Um, so this is a lavender colour, so I think this is just about purple enough for me. Um, so I might make something quite soon with this for to support her and uh, use the hashtag. But this is, I think I've got a metre, yeah, metre of this. And this is destined to be some sort of blouse. And again, I thought the flower was really, really pretty, very delicate sort of pretty um, pattern and um i might even make another olive blouse depends on how much i can get it out of maybe with short sleeves or something um but yeah this is a, a lovely sort of visco chalet very lightweight very drapey just lovely so there we go there's that one um the next one the next one is very similar to the orange one in fact it's pretty much exactly the same but it is white so um you can't go wrong with having a white blouse in your in your stash um i think and it will go with so many things you know if i if i do make trousers out of that fabric then i could wear this with it because obviously being jacquard all right there's a pattern there it's not a pattern that you would worry about matching so yes yeah, so that's the white hearts jacquard fabric and again that's viscose there we go so it's super sort of soft and drapey um again this is another one that is destined definitely for me i love this color i love the pattern so it is a how do you describe it as it is a lucite green owls of viscose so tiny little owls that you won't see until you're up close which i like very cute and then it's a sort of a, almost a blue green color and um again i have three meters of that and that is destined to be a dress of some sort um i'm not sure which pattern yet it might be again might be an indigo it'll be something quite loose and floaty and comfortable but i don't know exactly what it'll be um and then the final fabric the final fabric i've got is some cotton jersey let me just say yeah it says brick red cotton jersey and um i've got three meters of it i don't know whether i'll make it into any kind of dress or anything like that but um this fabric i can use this sort of color for my son for my husband as well so i thought it's not a bad thing to have in your stash so um yeah i mean it was so cheap for everything that i thought i can't resist it really it was such a good price for everything um so yeah so this is my final one this is my cotton jersey as well and um no real plans for this one at all but i might make the boys some t-shirts or or something something that they need um and uh yeah my husband is definitely loving the fact of me making him a t-shirt at the moment and stuff like that so i will definitely carry that on because you know it's not hard to make a t-shirt is it let's be honest so yeah the total for that is uh, and there was actually one on the fabric that was one fabric that was um not available which was a khaki green um dot viscose jersey which obviously they refunded me so i gosh i'm gonna have to put the glasses on for this one so that fabric was originally worth 163 pounds but with a 40 percent discount um, it was £98 for all those fabrics, um, including the dot viscose. And then if you take the refund off, it's about £90 for those things. So I got 24 metres of fabric and the average cost of each metre of fabric was £3.75, which I just thought is just such a bargain that it will keep me going until Christmas now, I think. And um, God, I hope it keeps me going until Christmas because I've got uni next week, so I can't keep saying that much. Um, but yeah, I thought it would keep me going, give me some things to, to do, to make and do. And uh, for a bargain price, I couldn't resist. So yes, that is my Rainbow Fabrics haul. 
um i've been organizing my pattern stash this week so hopefully i might make up some different things in the near future because i now know what i've got in there so hopefully we'll have some new items with this fabric coming shortly to you um i hope you've enjoyed 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 i hope you've enjoyed this whistle stop tour of my fabric haul from rainbow fabrics um and if there's any information you'd like to know about any of the fabrics or whatever then let me know i will link rainbow fabrics below and i think the sale is still on um so definitely go and check it out because i mean it's such a bargain 40 percent off it's worth looking at um so yeah thank you for watching um if you've liked the video please do subscribe i've had some lovely new com like comments recently and some new subscribers recently so i am i'm chuffed thank you so much um so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have liked what you've seen please do like subscribe uh ring that bell and i will be back with you on friday with another friday sews thank you bye